So I'm just down in Riddles Creek. Um, just something to be aware of as you live your lives in ever developing areas. This is a subdivision that's going in and as you can see a lot of native habitat is being removed. Wetlands, um, it's prime down in this part of the world, uh, prime tiger snake area. So as that land gets disturbed, any tiger snakes, red bellies in that area are going to look for somewhere else to live. So where do they come? Next door into this yard where there's, a, uh, I can hear frogs croaking around and there is plenty of habitat and places to go to. Now, we all have clutter and this is a shed that we're pulling down at the moment. So, you know, there's a bit of extra stuff laying around here. So I'm not even gonna crack at the house owners by any means. But um, just be aware that if that's happening near your house, then this is going to be where Mr. Tiger Snake, Mr. Eastern Brown and Mr. Red Belly is going to make an appearance. And you can't blame them because as we take away their habitat, they're gonna look for uh, places where they can make set up a new home. This shed that we're pulling down also um, had a, an old cool room and uh, had insulation above it with lots and lots of rat droppings and rat nests in there so there is plenty of food available for them and uh, you know, I suppose the message is if this is sort of what your backyard looks like then uh, when you get a chance as soon as you can clear it up the more debris and habitat and little hidey holes that you remove from your yard the uh, the less chance you've got of having a uh, a little wriggly visitor. Australia has around 140 species of land snake and 32 recorded species of sea snakes. Some 100 Australian snakes are classed as venomous although only 12 are classed as dangerously venomous. These are the most commonly encountered species. Eastern brown snake is a common snake found in the eastern section of Australia and is a very common snake found in backyards. They have adapted to living in residential areas as they hunt their favourite meal, rats and mice, which are always to be found around houses. A shy snake that will actively defend itself if threatened with a defensive posture trying to make itself look large and threatening. They have excellent eyesight and will react to movement. Red belly black snakes are an extremely shy and non-combative snake, a snake that lives predominantly within wetlands or close to a water supply where they can find their frogs, which is their preferred prey. A stunning snake that is very non-combative and a distinctive body movement when threatened as they flatten out their body just behind their head, akin to a cobra. Tiger snakes are generally a wetland snake and are rarely seen in the Bendigo region, but very common the further south you go. In Melbourne they would be the most commonly encountered snake in a backyard. They are also, despite many stories and old farmers tales, a non-aggressive snake if left alone, but are vigorous in their defence if they feel threatened, hence their bad reputation. They also will flatten their body out in a threat display which is a good indication to give it some room. There are also two copperhead species that are commonly encountered, the lowlands and the highlands copperhead. The lowlands is a snake very common around the southern areas of Victoria and often found in Melbourne backyards. The highlands is found in more alpine regions and is a snake that can also survive freezing conditions quite well. Like the red belly black they are also shy and reclusive snakes that are non-combative and less threatened. The coastal taipan is a snake endemic to the northern New South Wales, Queensland Northern, northern Territory and northern Western Australia. An extremely fast and agile snake, they are also known for a very aggressive defensive display if threatened. The Australian Death Adder is an ambush hunter, perfectly adapted to sitting in leaf litter with its camouflage pattern. It is often not seen by the majority of people who come into contact with it. Its tail is adapted to resemble a worm or grub which it wickles in front of its face as it hides in the leaf litter and then strikes at the hungry bird or other animal. Having the fastest recording strike of any snake in the world, it's a fast hitter. The Mulga or King Brown, a big chunky venomous snake, erroneously labelled a brown snake as it is actually a black snake and more closely related to the red belly black rather than the eastern brown. As with all of our lapid or front fanged venomous snakes, it will always prefer to retreat and hide than to force a confrontation. The Mulga or King Brown is also not encountered in Victoria and is not endemic to the area. Oftentimes large eastern browns are referred to as King Browns but they are in fact two different species. So 
this is uh, our pet Blizzard. He's a Eastern Blue Tongue or a Blue Tongue Skink. Um, largest skink species in Australia. Very common visitor in our backyards. Um, they adapt to living in our gardens quite well. Uh, very partial to snails and strawberries and lots of other things that we grow. A really great visitor to have in your backyard. Helps to keep um, pests, particularly things like snails and bugs, under control. Um, quite responsible for a lot of misidentified snake call outs with uh, relocators, and the reason being is as you just see that tail disappear, it's quite easy to mistake that for a, for a snake, particularly in country that has tiger snakes. But, um, this is our captive bred pet. Um, and he's been with us for a little while. As you can hear, Shadow thinks he's looks pretty yummy. But, uh, they're a very placid, uh, generally non-aggressive. Blizzard's a little bit dopey at the moment because uh, we're just coming out of winter and into early spring and he hasn't really got into the warm weather yet so he's still coming out of his uh, brumation which reptiles go into. But uh, once he warms up, he gets a little bit more active. 